Hey everyone, Cash here, bringing you another video from Madden 25. Today I bring you the preseason recap as we finish the offseason in the last video. So first off here, I'm going to show you the team as it looks right now. Added a few more players to add some competition for the preseason. We got Terrell Pryor there at quarterback. We got Deion Lewis, Javid Best there at running back. Going to compete for a backup spot. Added Brandon Cooks, a first year, second year player out of Oregon State. See how he might do. He will be in a battle with Brandon Carter. And then tight ends unchanging. You can take a look here at the offensive line. I did add a right guard. Uh, had this guy here, John Jalapio from Florida, first year player. Pretty good. Surprised he was in free agency. Got released from, I'm not sure who, who he got drafted by. And then at D tackle, added a couple guys to fill out the depth there at D-Tackle because we only picked up one guy in the draft, didn't pick up anybody in free agency, missed out on our one target, so adding some depth there. And then I think that will be it for the free agent ads before we start the preseason. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, did add Bill Bentley, cornerback formerly from the Lions, threw him in there to add some cornerback depth. So that is our team now to begin the preseason, game one is against the Cincinnati Bengals as we start this season here in Cincinnati. And really, I don't know, necessarily there's not many competitions for starting jobs. I mean, this is a team that just went to the Super Bowl. We did make some changes here as Demarius Thomas, our new addition, takes a ball off the head there. So not a whole lot of... of competitions there are some competitions obviously for roster spots and for backup positions but the starters will pretty much be the same as last year as here Kirk Cousins now in in the second Odell Beckham gets that grab he's got 41 yards on two catches as we're here in the second quarter and then Joyke Bell taking this halfback screen he is going to find the end zone so we take the lead seven to three as Cousins looking pretty good here in his backup position didn't have to play a whole lot last year but he is a very valuable piece to have there behind Johnny Manziel in case he gets hurt. If last year showed us anything, it's how important a good starting quarterback is. As in our first season, we had such a hard time winning games because of the poor quarterback play. So it's important that we have someone there capable of stepping in for our starter as here. The Bengals score a touchdown, so they take the lead. And we now have a minute to go until the end of the half. And here, Brandon Cooks drops that ball. That could have been a touchdown there. A costly play for us as we could have went into the half with the lead. He drops that ball. That is not going to be good for him to make the team. As now here we are in the second half. Get our first look at Terrell Pryor. And he is going to go deep, but throws it into double coverage. He gets picked off there by Stanford route. So Bengals coming back here. Whitmer, the rookie quarterback, gets sacked here by Bill Bentley as he comes from the edge. Stops that drive, so now back comes Pryor, and he's going to find the rookie, Devin Funches, with his first reception. He gets hurt, but he would be back. It's now first and ten in the fourth. Odell Beckham, another big catch. He's got 73 yards so far, playing really well in this one. Beckham, Aberderis, they did get a decent amount of play. I think Aberderis played a little bit more than Beckham last year, but two very good quarterbacks in here. Terrell Pryor going to find DJ Williams with the sky ball there as he just floats it in. Williams with the catch, so we take the lead now 14-13. And here, Danique Os Allen, the second-year linebacker, did not get a whole lot of play last year, just special teams. He gets that pick, and that closes the game out. You take a look here at the stats. Pryor does finish 5 of 8 for 66 yards, 1 TD, 1 interception. Cousins with a TD of his own. And in the running game, nothing really going for either team. Odell Beckham, 4 catches, 73 yards. And then on defense, not a whole lot going on. Defense, some sacks. Bill Bentley picks up a sack. And then Danico Salen with that huge interception to clinch the game. So we win that one. On to the second week of the preseason. We're going to play the Bills, and I'm going to show you here some of the transactions that we had so far. Tim Tebow, Jake Locker, uh, Wes Walker signed with the Titans. And then who we're looking for here, Colin Kaepernick. He signed with the Jets, did not sign with anybody the entire offseason. And then finally gets signed here, just a one-year deal for just over a million dollars. So very interesting that the 49ers 
forgot, I need to go and look and see who the 49ers quarterback is now because it's very interesting they would drop Kaepernick. I think he was rated like a 92, so very odd for them to release him. Obviously something that the AI seemed to think he was too expensive for the alternative, but here we go in London here for our first home game of the preseason. Darren McFadden running pretty well here as he's going to find the end zone after that long run on the previous play. So we go up 7 to nothing here in the first EJ Manuel. CJ Spiller, he is going to run and he is going to take off here, beating that cornerback on the edge for a long carry as he's got 45 yards here in the first half. So now in the second Braxton Miller looking to throw as the Bills just outside the end zone and he is going to be sacked though by Marvin Austin so they settle for a field goal now Kirk Cousins in the game scrambling just got to dump this one off he takes a hit and he is hurt and this one would not be good as Kirk Cousins dislocated hip will miss the rest of the season an absolutely horrible blow and I just got done talking in the first game about how important it is to have a good backup here as Tracy Porter gets an interception but just horrible break there I mean Manziel was pretty durable last season did get hurt a lot but I think it was a bit of a glitchy thing where he wouldn't even miss time but if he gets hurt significantly our backup is now Terrell Pryor as he's going to find Brandon Cooks here at the end of the first half, not able to get in the end zone though, so we settle for the field goal going into the half up seven. But I think we will have to go back, sign some other backups, maybe get one other guy in to compete as we look for a very serious backup quarterback now as Kirk Cousins gone for the season. Terrell Pryor throws an interception here, which that is an interception so far in both preseason games. So that is not something that we want to see. But we do want to see Deion Lewis here taking off with the long run on this play as he looks very good so far in this game. But the quarterback situation, the backup quarterback situation, very troubling as it gets a little bit more troubling here as Pryor scrambling fumbles the ball, his second turnover in the game, his third turnover so far in the two preseason games. So we will definitely be going out after this game, picking up another quarterback, possibly two. And then here, the long pass to Marquise Goodwin, who is going to take off down the field, the second-year player out of Texas. Excuse me, third-year player out of Texas now. He races down the field for the touchdown, so the Bills take the lead prior now, looking to lead his team to victory. Devin Funches with the jump and tackle. Awkward landing there, but he picks up a first down, and now second and eight prior going across the middle. Aberderis with a little bit of a lucky play there as the defender Dies for the ball, misses, Everdares for the catch, and is able to get in the end zone. So we retake the lead, and then with a minute and a half to go, Tracy Porter, with his second interception of the game, is going to ice this one. So the second consecutive game that gets ended by an interception. So the defense coming up big. And then taking a look at the stats from this one, Braxton Miller performing very well. Prior 10 of 19 for 129, not as good of a throwing day in this one. Another pick, and that fumble he had running very troublesome. We do not want a backup quarterback that's going to come in and turn the ball over. Marquise Goodwin with that one long catch. Marvin Austin with a pretty good game. So as we move here along in the preseason, quarterback becomes our number one thing, although we do get helped out a little bit here. Kirk Cousins actually only going to be out eight weeks, so a little misleading title there in the injury report. And moving to free agency, there is one guy here, Drew Stanton, is who we are going to sign. We thought about trading for him last season when we were going back and forth between Cousins and Drew Stanton. He is available, not a very highly rated guy, but kind of fits the mold of the kind of quarterback we're looking for, A maybe less of a Johnny Manziel. So we're going to bring him in, see how he does, and then we have to do a couple of cuts. We're going to cut Bill Bentley, just already a lot of guys there at the corner spot. He was never going to make the team, and then we're going to cut Javid Best as he was just buried on the depth chart as well. And then our first pick is getting cut, Davis, the D-tackle from Iowa. We release him as he, well, just was not very good. So now here we are in Cleveland for our third preseason game. The starters getting their work in here. Johnny Manziel going to the corner of the end zone, trying to test out Demarius Thomas's red zone threat. Doesn't get it here, but he's going to get it this time as Manziel goes right back to him. Demarius Thomas with his first touchdown as a London Black Knight. So the starters get their work in, get their touchdown. So now here we go in the second. Deion Lewis, 
This guy is running very well in the preseason. Another long run for him. That might just help him make the team. It's now three minutes to go in the half. Odell Beckham with this nasty spin move, and he is going to run his way into the end zone, just missing that last defender. So we go into the half up big, 17 to nothing. Cleveland not doing anything here in this one. And then here we are in the fourth. Drew Stanton getting some work in here with the nice pass to Odell Beckham, the nicer extension there from Beckham. He has 100 yards receiving in this one, another huge game for him. Carter, the rookie wide receiver, is going to get this catch, his first catch of the game, his first catch of the preseason, I believe. And then here, late in the fourth, on fourth down, we decided to go for it, testing Stanton's legs, and he is going to find the end zone. So we are up 24-3 to here, and then with a minute to go, why not? Three games in a row. Ifo Epgre Alomu with the interception to seal the victory. So three straight games with picks to end it. And we are going to win our third preseason game. A pretty good game offensively, great game defensively. Take a look at the stats here. Prior, 6 of 10 for 95 yards. Stanton does go 4 of 7 and picked up the touchdown. So he performed pretty well in this one. Deion Lewis, two, just two carries, but 43 yards. He is looking very good. And Odell Beckham, he is got to be the MVP so far in the preseason. He has been phenomenal in all of our games. Uh, defense there, Tosh Jones with a sack, and then Ifo with that interception to seal it. So now here we are in week four. We have a lot more cuts to make, but first, after looking at the free agency, there's a couple big names that have popped up in free agency. So we are going to make some cuts first to get rid of some guys. Drew Stanton, actually, when I say he's kind of a poor Johnny Manziel, he's also a poor Terrell Pryor. Terrell Pryor still a better option there, so we are going to get rid of Drew Stanton. Brandon Cooks just missed some opportunities, did not perform when he needed to, so we're going to get rid of him. And then Noah Spence, another draft casualty. I think he was our seventh round pick, just wasn't doing much, not going to fit in anywhere. So we get rid of him. And then Landon Cohen, one of the D tackles we signed, we're going to get rid of. And now to a free agency, we're going to sign Nick Foles. I see he got released by the Eagles. We're going to pick him up, see how he does in this last one. And then at defensive ends, Shane McClellan there, an 81 third year player, looks pretty good. But we're going to grab Devin Taylor. He is a former Lion, pretty good young player. We're going to see how he does. But the guy I'm looking for, the reason we released Landon Cohen, Damata Pecco is available here at D-Tackle. We're going to sign him. He could add, add some great depth there at D-Tackle as we really don't have anyone after our starter. So here we go into the fourth game of the preseason, facing off against the Broncos. Terrell Pryor in the, here in the second quarter, and he is going to find Aberderis here, fitting that one into a tight space. Good to see that great pass out of Pryor. But here again, another interception. Did not have a turnover in the last game, but the turnovers spike up again as Pryor picked off. And now Zach Dysert, the backup, is going to find White, the rookie wide receiver. Don't remember where he's from. Might be Alabama. But here are the Broncos on the doorstep of the end zone with just under a minute to go in the half. And there is going to be a touchdown here. Don't know how he fit that one in. But he did. So the Broncos go into half up 10 to nothing. So now here we are in the second half and we get a look at Nick Foles. Going to find Deion Lewis here. Deion continuing his great play in the preseason, picking up 17 yards on that one. Now Foles passing again. Going to drop back, looking and finding Jermaine Gresham here on this one. And he's going to break that tackle. Picks up about 10 extra yards there as he's down to the 23 as we are looking for our first points of the day. Foles going across the middle, going to find Odell Beckham. He takes a hit, does get hurt. He'd be okay, though. And then here we are on second and goal. Foles looking, Foles looking, Foles waiting. Foles throwing. He's going to find Devin Funches as he is able to make the catch after the ball. Just gets by the defender. Can't quite knock it down. So we pick up a touchdown there to cut the lead for the Broncos to just three, but back come the Broncos, Ronnie Hillman with this nice run as that closes out the third quarter. So now in the fourth as another pitch here to Hillman and he is running pretty well in this one, picking up another first down on third down. So we're gonna need a stop here if we want a chance in this one. Do want to peck a win at Jackson Shipley, the rookie with this catch. He's got two catches for 31 yards. And then Hillman coming back here, breaking a tackle. He's going to come up just short, though, so fourth down, forced the punt, so we have a chance to win this one. Nick Foles, third and three. 
getting pressure, just forced to throw it away, just kind of lops it up, see if anybody can get it. Can't get it, though, so now fourth and three, last chance. Foles, empty set, back to pass. Nobody's open, forced to scramble. Can he make it? No, he can't. Foles is too slow as no one was open going for it. Cannot do it there, so we turn the ball over, and then on the first play of the next drive, the Broncos are going to score here, and that is going to put that one away, so we are going to lose this game. This here in a last-ditch effort. Nick Foles going deep, going to be picked off here, so not too impressed with Foles. I don't know if he's much of an upgrade over Pryor, even though Pryor does have his own struggles. But we lose that one 21 to 7. Zach Dysart, a great game, 14 to 17 for 160 yards. Foles does go 8 of 15. Pryor, and only 17 yards in that one. Not a big day for him. Just played the second quarter. Gave Foles a lot of work in this one. The running game did absolutely nothing. And then DeAndre, DeAndre White was out of Alabama. Pretty good game from the rookie there. And then Henry Anderson, Stanford rookie defensive end. He has four tackles for loss and three sacks. Monster game out of him. So the Broncos, a very good game. And now it is time for us to make our final cuts. As I said, Foles, not that great of a game. Wasn't too impressed. So we are going to release him. We are going to go into the season with Terrell Pryor as our backup quarterback. Our next cut at tight end. Only going to carry three tight ends. So we're going to release DJ Williams. Funchess is our first round pick. So definitely not going to release him. So we're going to get rid of DJ Williams. At D-Tackle, we're going to release Latroy Goyon, however you say his last name. The reason for that, we're going to carry three D-Tackles, but we are going to have Jeremy Mincy play some D-Tackle when needed. So we can get rid of one of those D-Tackles, and then we're going to get rid of Brandon Linder, as we don't need the third right guard. And then Devin Taylor, didn't really see much out of him either, and especially with Mincy adding the added value of being a D-Tackle as well. So those are our final cuts. Take a look at the preseason stats. Deion Lewis performs the best out of the running backs, 10 carries for 106 yards. Big reason why we decide to keep him, and we'll see how that's going to work playing him with Joyke Bell, because Joyke Bell performed very well last year. Odell Beckham, 245 yards this preseason, definitely going to earn him some more playing time. And then on defense, not much going really on defense. Nobody with more than one sack. Tracy Porter had that two interception game. Good preseason out of him. But yes, that brings us to the end of the preseason, so here we are. Season 2015, week one, we face up against the Packers. I will show you the depth chart before our game next time. I'm going to give you a look at the schedule as well to see who we're going to be playing this year. We'll see if we can make it run back to the playoffs and back to the Super Bowl. See if we can win it this time around. But that is going to be it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like. I would really appreciate it and subscribe to see any future videos that I make. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.